Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing this Ryobi 18 volt uh, 1 plus inflator and deflator. Basically, this is an air pump and it has two modes so you can inflate things like a tire, which I have here to demonstrate, or you can deflate like an air mattress. Uh, this thing is incredibly light, it only weighs a couple of pounds, I'd say maybe three pounds. Uh, on this side right here, you have the deflator, which has a nice hose uh, that's attached. This comes out really easy. Uh, it just unclips like this. And then on the end, you've got this little uh, attachment. If you, depending on how your mattress or whatever you're deflating takes, you can detach that. Uh, one thing I did notice with this, or I have noticed, is that uh, it's pretty flimsy. So I was pushing this in here to get it in and I actually pushed it too hard and I dented it. Um, I have had this unit for about a year and a half, two years. I have used it on a number of things. I have used it to deflate an air mattress. Um, I've used it to inflate a traditional bike, which I have here. I've used it to inflate an e-bike, which I have here, and it works on both of those. Uh, sorry for the mess in my garage. Now, the reason I chose Ryobi, as you can tell, I have a number of different tools. So I have a number of batteries and chargers, I have a drill, and I have a saw. And so when I needed an air compressor, this was the obvious choice. So I have another battery here, and I'm going to show you how to use this. It's really simple. So you just flip this upside down, and the battery just pushes right in. It locks makes a clicking noise so you know it's good and uh, it's really simple before actually before I show you how to use it let me show you this because I, I forgot to show this is the inflation side so the hose attaches really easily there uh, and then the end so you have you know a normal uh, inflation hose there you have a couple of attachments oops sorry about that you have a couple of attachments here so uh, depending on the type of bike tire or whatever you might need uh, these to do it. I've already taken the uh, cap off my tire, but this just goes in there and then twists on. Oops, it's hard to do while trying to keep this in focus, so I apologize for that. There we go. All right, so you just twist that on. All right, nice and tight. And then simple to use. So this is the power and the mode button. You press that, it turns on. It'll take a second. Ooh, it's hard to see with the screen. I'm sorry, I can't get it to show. Right now it shows 29, but if you press this mode button, it'll point an arrow. So you can't see it, unfortunately, but it's pointing that way. So that's how you know it's on deflate mode. If I press that again, uh, it shows an amount that it's gonna inflate to, and it has an arrow pointing that way. So you know that's inflation. So the mattress is this side for deflating, and then if it's pointing on that side, it's inflation, which is over there. And that's the side that I want. Uh, all you do is just increase this to the amount that you want. Again, I apologize, you can't see this, but I'm gonna set it to 39 uh, PSI. Uh, and then you just hit the start button. Okay, so that's the last tire. I filled all four of them. I just wanted to show the feature where if you set it to stop at 40 like I did, um, it will just shut off when it reaches the pressure that you set it to. Uh, so I set it to 40 PSI. I also timed it takes about seven seconds for every half PSI that you're adding. So about 14 seconds if you wanna increase one PSI. That's on these tires. I don't know that that's universal. Um, but I also wanted to point out, there's one negative that I noticed. This, this screen is too bright for you to see on the camera, but also it has this weird thing where you have to be looking at it straight on. If I tilt this straight, I actually can't see it behind the camera with my eyes. It's, it's got a weird display. So I had to tilt it up in order to see it, or I have to like crouch down. So if I wanna be up here, I have to tilt this. So that's just one minor thing. It's not really 
It's not really a big deal because it shuts off automatically, so you don't even have to watch it. I walked away for a little bit between each tire uh, because I knew it was going to shut off, but it is worth noting if you want to watch it. I do like this unit. It's very light. Like I said, you it's obviously small. You can put it easily away, stow it anywhere. Uh, like I've said, I've used it on a number of different things. You can actually use this to spray things. If you don't have it attached, you can use it to like spray dirt or whatever to clean stuff. Um, I prefer this to the bigger air compressors. I had a really big one in the past. Uh, it was a just about half the size of my tire. So it was really big, it was heavy, it was bulky, and you had to worry about uh, plugging it in. So you had a long cable that you could trip over uh, and that could get frayed or, you know, depending on where you're doing it, it could get cut or whatever. Um, also, I, I believe I had to lubricate that. And so uh, that was just kind of a mess. Uh, the only negative that I have about this is uh, this piece is... You know, like I said, it's a little bit thin, and so uh, I've bent it at least once in at least one place that I know of. Um, this, uh, as far as I know, goes up to 150 PSI and down to two. That is based on the comments, but I've never actually gone that high. Uh, I typically stay in the 20 to 40 PSI range with everything I've done, and so this has been really useful for me. That's about all I have to say on this unit, and I hope that was useful, and thanks for watching.